Hi, I'm Peter from Peter of Media. We've just received the Syscom 421 from Holy Land. It's a four transmitter, one receiver wireless system that we're going to use uh, in our production and hire out. Every wireless system has a certain amount of latency and today I want to see whether the published figures of 0.07 seconds in the Holy Land catalogue uh, pan out to real life figures. We're going to set up a transmitter and a receiver and we're going to record some pictures from the receiver as well as recording the analog audio from the camera mic that we're going to set up in front of the camera. We're going to set our systems up probably about 50 meters apart to make sure that the, uh, the RF system works reasonably well. So first of all, let me explain a few things. Video delay in an RF system is inevitable. The video signal needs to be encoded at the transmitter and decoded at the receiver. This will add an amount of delay or latency. To properly understand the amount of delay and the problems this may cause in the real world production, we need to check the delay time. To test the delay, we will set up the transmit and receive system. Here is a diagram of how I plan to set this up. The camera goes into the transmitter, which is run by RF over the five gigahertz band and is decoded at the receiver and goes into a Blackmagic uh, monitor recorder. At the same time, I'm going to set up a microphone and run a microphone lead all the way to my second input of the monitor. I'm then going to set up a clap test. In this case, I'm using a little application I found on the internet. The video from the receiver goes to the Blackmagic monitor recorder and it's going to have embedded audio on channel one. I'm going to set up the Blackmagic recorder so that the analog audio from the mic goes to channel two. We then record a sample file. This sample file will then take into our edit system and we'll have a look at the difference in the audio claps between channel one and channel two. This will give us an indication of the delay in the system. The Hollyland Syscom 421 has a few setup procedures in the transmitter and I'm going to have a look at the differences this may make. There are some different settings in the menu. Scene mode has picture mode, balance mode and speed mode. I would imagine the picture mode is for the best quality picture. A balance mode is for picture quality and speed and speed is purely for speed. The manual doesn't explain whether you need to reset the whole system or not. So we now have three separate files recorded in our Blackmagic recorder and we're going to go and see which one of these has the lowest latency. Remember we had picture mode, balance mode and speed mode. I wonder if there's a difference.
To my surprise, there was no difference in delay between the three different picture modes. We measured five frames of delay between real time and the delay time. Now five frames equates to about 0.2 of a second. Um, Holy Land say that they have a delay of 0.07 seconds, which equates to about two frames. So we were never able to achieve anything better than five frames. So I just wonder how Holy Land uh, get to the very short delay of under two frames. Remember, we're using a 25 frame per second system. So in a 30 frame per second or 29.97 frame system, your delay frames would be slightly different. However, the delay time of uh, 0.2 of a second, which is what we measured, and 0.07 of a second, which is what Holy Land claim, um, are really the same whether you use this system in a 25 frame per second situation or in a 30 frame per second uh, situation which you would use in uh, North America. When I made the sync test video last week one thing I didn't think about was whether the format of the video signal going into the transmitter would have anything to do with the delay times in the system. So I'm back here and I've hooked up my Holy Land 421 syscom unit and this time I'm running the camera at 72050p back into my Blackmagic recorder where I'm recording one channel of audio direct and one channel of audio through the wireless system. So we'll go back into the edit suite to see whether the delay times have changed uh, substantially. Remember that uh, Holy Land claim a delay down to as low as 0.07 of a second uh, and the best we could get was 0.2 of a second. So let's go back into the edit suite and see what happens. Well, the delay time didn't really change. On our original experiment, we used 1080i50. And on this experiment, we used 720p50.